Hey guys, today I am going to tell you about, you know, pretty sad stories. These stories are, I, and where do I get these stories from when I'm doing deals? I'm doing a deal right now for Pokemon Bulk, uh, supposedly 15,000 Pokemon Bulk. It's a collection of just, I mean, Bulk plus cards. What, uh, in my other channel, LUS, I make videos about sports card investor confessions about what's going wrong in the sports card industry and what that means for us. Um, in this particular video, I'm gonna really just hammer home the idea that people are very over leveraged and they bought these sealed collections thinking that they were investments and now they have nowhere to sell them and I don't want them anymore because they take a lot of space. There's no price that you can pay for more space because you would have to buy a bigger home. I live in a home that's half a million dollars. If I wanted to do this more, if I was so addicted, I would have to buy a bigger home because my home is already full with, and as a store, and storage is very expensive monthly. Um, I think a lot of people bought these boxes, put in storage, and the box price went down, but they're still paying $200, $150 a month for storage. That's how much it costs for air condition, humidified storage here in Houston, a decent size. And I'm seeing more and more people try to offload these boxes for, uh, again, they're not flexible because it's hard when somebody tells you it's an investment, so they'll say, oh, hey guys, a new Campana is an investment. And you're like, okay, cool, cool. I bought it for 89 from the Rudy Chan. He told me it was an investment. It's been a few years. How can I, how can you get rid of it? And it's on Amazon right now for 72. Well, you're not going to want to sell it for 72, which is the price that I would probably buy. I would buy it just to break it. Okay. For me, breaking is an addiction. It's something that keeps me out of trouble from other addictions that you might have. Like, um, when I break, I have no, once I'm done breaking, um, I, I have no, no, uh, actually I'll, I'll sh I don't know if I want to show you this. Let me, let me show you this. Um, every night, every weekend I break a lot because imagine like I, I don't break every single day, right? I break like one time every two weeks. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. That is every Saturday night for me. So instead of going to a poker house or something like that, I just break. It sounds very silly. It might sound very stupid for you, but it does keep me out of trouble. And so if I'm look, if you buy, if you sell me a new Campana, it's cause like, that's what I pay on Amazon. So I pay Amazon plus tax, but I also get 5% back. So it's kind of like a balance. Cause then you charge it on your Amazon credit card. So the tax is not, I mean, in Texas it's like still eight. So it's like not 8%, it's like five, it's like 3%, right? And I would get the box and Amazon would deliver the box to me instead of me meeting you up in public and buying the box. So there are advantages to order from the Amazon. So I couldn't, if, if you gave me cheaper than Amazon prices, then yeah, I would take it just to open these boxes. But the people that are approaching you, they're obviously, they put too much money and they'll tell you, they straight up tell you, hey man, I should, I put money in this. I should not have put money in this. Uh, I got pumped and dumped and you know, I, whatever, can you buy these things? And these emails are quite depressing. Uh, they're so depressing that, you know, I thought about sharing them and I was like, eh, um, no, they're just so ugly. They're such, and no one talks about the ugly side of the hobby, uh, and sports cards included. Actually, on my other channel, I just talk about sports cards and how people are baiting and switching and they sold all the valuable cards. So like in the other side of the hobby, sports cards, what they do is they break, right? And then once they're done breaking, they if they do get a hit, which many times they do not, then they sell the hit to do more breaks on whatnot, only to be scammed some more. It's sad to see all these people who are over leveraged, who are just absolutely butchered. I mean, they're, they're, I mean, there's no other way for me to put it. They have boxes no one wants because those boxes Amazon has and they're constantly on sale. So if you think a store is having a difficult time, at least store has customers, right? <laughs> Retail, a store has, a, I mean, it's not a good chance 
but there is some chance that when somebody walks into their store, they'll buy a box for 90 or $100, okay? 90 is your break, 90 is your break even, my break even for a draft, 90 free is my break even for set. 90 free and some chains. So there is a chance that somebody pays $100 a box and I make between $6 and $10 that box. But there's no chance somebody pays a random due on Craigslist or any, because if they're using, if they were able to search that way, they're not, um, if that's the only way they're going to do the deal is online, they can also go on eBay, they can also go on TCG Play, they can also find the box cheaper. When people are shopping at a store, right, sometimes they don't care about the price as much, they just want to write, they see the box at the store, they came to the store looking for some sleeves, they saw a box for 100, they said, you know what, I have extra $100, let me take a shot. But when you're selling online and you're just a random dude about a store, they're going to lowball the bejesus out of you. And, and even, no, I'm no longer buying boxes unless it is uh, Amazon or below. I had this um, young lady and she wanted to sell, she had opened a bunch of new Campana, you know, all these, all these sets, Neon Dynasty and so on. And um, she wanted $2,500 for all her bulk. And I said, you know, and I very, I, I kind of linked her to Amazon. And I said, well, I can get for twenty five hundred dollars, I can get roughly thirty five boxes sealed, which is the amount of boxes you just opened here. And you took all out all the rares, the foils, and the mythics. So a lot of people do not understand that their their collections, which is you know, for many reasons, just consisting of bulk have no value. Um, and then even their sealed collections have very little value. If, if you invested in Midnight Hunt, Crimson Vow, you're way, way down. You're down, you're, you're, I mean, they're selling for $50 a box, $42 a box, right? Uh, new Comp Neon Dynasty, a little bit better. New Compenna, you have, um, Baldur's, you have both Dungeons and Dragons sets. Both of them did really poorly. Forgotten Realms and Baldur's Gate. You have, uh, oof, what is that set called? Uh, Dominator United, you have New Phyrexia, and you have uh, Brothers War. You have all these sets and they don't really have any value to them because everyone knows they're gonna be put on sale on Amazon Prime Day. I'm gonna tell you guys a secret, guys. On Amazon Prime Day, you'll be able to get these for pennies on the dollar. You'll be able to get these sets, all probably some of them, if not all of them, for less than distributor costs. So it's distributor costs, again, my 90 free set. Um, 90 free set, uh, 90 draft. You're gonna be able to get them for 72 which is a, I mean, the $28 off is, I mean, that's, or $18 off is a lot of money when you're trying to sell the box for less than $10 margins. All right, I'm going to stop this video before my dog starts barking. Bye guys.